again welcome to another day of our so it's Christmas gift giving guide today um, I am making two little Christmas um, baby tea parties for my twin nieces and I'm going to show you how to use a loop turner which is one of my favorite tools and the hemming ruler so to start off with I am just ironing my bodice um, at the moment please ignore well try to ignore my horribly dirty ironing board cover um, and for the lining of the baby tea party bodice you need to fold up the bottom edge three eighths of an inch so I've set the hemming guide here oh, it's hard to see with the light sorry to three eighths of an inch so you can see the top of the red there is sitting on three eighths of an inch so what you do is you fold over the bottom and you slide that red bit along the bottom until you can see you've folded it over exactly the right amount so you can see the top of the fabric there that's folded over is sitting right at the top of the ruler so I pop my iron down on there and then slide the ruler over make sure you're at 3 8 of an inch again slide across and I keep doing that the whole way along the bottom of the bodice Oop, tripods in the way and that's it very simple so I use the hemming ruler um, for things like this where you're folding up the lining. I also use it for hems. It's great for quarter inch hems as well. You can slide it all the way down to a quarter of an inch there. Or you can go right up. There's one inch hems on some of our dresses. You can go up to two inches and all the way up to five down here if you need to or want to. So that's the hemming ruler. Next I'll show you the loop turner. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the loop turner which, as I said, is one of my favourite sewing tools. They're so cheap, so simple, but just gets the job done really well. So as I was saying, I am making a baby tea party for my little niece for Christmas. So I finished the leg casing with bias. If you want to know how to do that, check out Tanya's video on day two where she shows you. But I've got it already done. So what you do first is grab your loop turner and just pop it in one end. And slide it all the way through you'll be bunching up the leg casing until it pops out the other side once it's popped out the other side you want to grab your elastic and put it on the little hook here so the latchy bit is down you've got the latch down and you hook your elastic on the end there and then flick that little latch back up so I hope you can see there the little latch is back up so once you've got the latch up, you just pull it into your casing and keep pulling the loop turner. Once you've got the elastic at the end there, just grab a pin to secure it so that you don't end up pulling it into your casing. So I just little pop a little pin in there and then keep pulling this bit until the elastic comes out the other side. And that's it. So simple, so quick and no safety pins that are going to prick you or get lost in the middle of your casing. So that's how you use a loop turner to put the elastic in your leg elastic casing. I hope that helps you all. Don't forget to keep marking things off your wish list and upload um, your wish list on the last day to our Facebook group for your chance to win some goodies. See you all next time.